Hello out there, all my crafty friends. Uh, I have some junk journal embellishment kits I want to show you. I'm, I'm not gonna, actually, I'm not gonna video all of them. I've got five of them available and they are in my Etsy shop. And then I've got one, um, one little girl kit. Um, and they all come with these eight by eight drawstring bags that I made that I lined with a, a cotton sheet, a white cotton sheet. Um, I will go through the little girl and I'm just going to pick one of the boy kits and show you. And there are pictures that give you the details of each kit um, on my, in my Etsy shop. So the boy bags are made out of this, uh, it's like a blue gray stripe seersucker fabric. And then it's lined with a cotton linen sheet. And then each kit has a little puppy that I stamped on a piece of sheet and then stitched onto a piece of um, thick linen. So, and I just clipped them on here so you can, if you want to put them on the bag, initially I was just gonna put them on the bag and then I thought, well, no, I'll let, you know, um, whoever purchases decide, you know, decide what they wanna do. So in each kit, and I've been working on these for quite some time. But in each kit, um, you'll get a little fish tag that I cut out. And I put quite a bit of, this is a, um, this is a vintage tobacco twine here. And then several different, um, several yards of each one of these uh, kind of baker's twine. And, uh, or I don't know what you call that stuff anyway. It's like a, it's twine. I don't know why I go brain dead when I get on here. And then um, each boy kit will have a Richard Scary uh, vintage book page envelope. And this camera won't focus because I keep moving around. So each one will have an envelope that I stitched and left open so you can put it in a journal or however you want to use it. And um, of course, they'll all be different because they're all different pages. And then each kit has nine tags, handmade tags. So these first few are made out of recycled manila envelopes that I cut down and then I stamped a bunny. And this one has some of the cantha fabric on it and a vintage button. And this one is also, I think I, maybe I didn't. There was a couple of them that I coffee dyed. I mean, tea dyed, not coffee dyed. And then there'll be one that says cute as a button. And a little vintage button and twine that I stitched. And then one that says baby. That's been stitched around. And an index card on the back. And stamped. And then this one says welcome baby. And then if you don't want the baby on here, you know, you can cover this if you want the plane or whatever, but you don't want the baby part, you could take, you could take something else and cover that up. Um, but they're intended to be, you know, baby kids books. And then there's one, two, three, four, five of these four by five cards um, or tags that can be used as tuck spots in the book. Um, that I stitched the manila file folder. And these are actually some old index cards that I put these on and then put some little fabric bits on here so there's different cluster tags. So there's five of those. So there's the little train conductor and then there's a little cowboy. And they all have their, the clusters are all a little bit different from kit to kit, but you can see that in the in the pictures that I put on Etsy. And they have fabric um, down at the bottom too, some of them. Some of them were just paper, some of them I used paper and fabric in the cluster. Then you got the little pilot. And then there's a little dog. And I said I didn't put a piece of fabric up there, but you can add that if you want. 
And then each kit will come with this little glass thing bag full of some extra little goodies for you to make things if you want. So there's two um, Relidex cards. There's a little, like a little fruit try bag. And um, one of the cards that I've already put attached to the mail envelope that you can make a tag like this. Um, just a regular little sort of chipboard tag. And two of these vintage um, order receipts out of a vintage receipt book. So each kit will have the same, those same things. And each kit will have, each kit will have another little bag of goodies. And these will all be different, but there will be two paper clips. There'll be two paper clips that I made in each one. So this is the little, and he's fraying in there. Hold on. This is the little cat. And then on the back, he has a little button. And then all these other little goodies will be in here. So you'll get, oh shoot, I just dropped something. You'll get a couple of my handmade buttons. There it is. So two stars and two regular buttons. A clip. And I think what I dropped was one of the uh, screwdriver brads. So you'll get two, you'll get two star brads and two little screwdriver brads. You get one, two, three, six, should be seven, seven vintage buttons in here. So maybe that's one of the ones I dropped too. <clears throat> A key, a little clip. Yeah, I dropped the button because there's the other little brad. And um, five ball pins. So that's everything that comes in in the little boy kits. And of course, each one's going to be, neither one of them are identical. Um, but they all come with the same amount and same type of items. And, you know, I spent a lot of time making these things and putting them together. So um, anyway, I hope you like it. Um, let me see if I can get through the little girl kit. I only have one. Oh, here's the other button. I only have one little girl kit. But let me slide this out of the way. Let me see if I can get through. And I have a little bit different items. Some similar, but a little bit different in the girl kit, of course. So the bag is out of this beautiful eyelet fabric and then the little fabric piece is a little vintage piece of fabric with a little birdie stamped on a piece of sheet and stitched together and then there's a little um, bead charm on that so you can use that wherever you want and then inside the little girl kit a little bit different variety based on you know the things I'd made and what I had in my stash um, and I had two of these but I did sell one already so in this kit you'll get instead of the twine you'll get a little bundle of fabric so you'll get a little piece of this lace and this is some vintage eyelet trim that came from my favorite little antique store and a couple of little pieces, other couple of little pieces of fabric. There's that one, a little piece of lace. This is a different type of eyelet fabric and some of this fabric that has a embroidered flowers on it's really pretty. So you get that little bundle of fabric and then you get two um, envelopes. So this is one out of 
the little engine that could. And this one is out of a vintage Childcraft magazine. So this is a little bit different type. You can use this just as a page or you could use it as an envelope. And then the same little goodies in here um, as in the little boy kit, the Rolodex cards, the little print shop bag, the tag, and the receipt. Um, I did not put one of the little um, chipboard tags in here, but I can add that. Um, but there's a, lot, there's a lot of other stuff in here. So, so you get one of my, well you get this, because this is the only one I've got. So you get this little paper clip. And this was made out of book page. And then this is a little girl I cut out of a, um, that Mother Goose book. Another little swatch with a little butterfly. And then you'll get um, some little tuck spots. So that, there's that little cluster with the birdie. And there's a little cluster with the puppy doll. And then there's another little cluster with another little poodle little puppy dog. And these are retro images um, from, the little animals are retro images from the Graphics Fairy. Gosh, she can't really get in my mouth. Um, then you get uh, <clears throat> this little bunny rabbit that says, sweet little sun bunny. And then this cute as a button is course in girl colors. And then a welcome baby. And these are all stitched and they have the these have that on the back. This one does not. This is just plain. And then baby. And then there's a little uh, Beatrice Potter book image um, with some little buttons with, attached with a bow pen on back. And this is a tea dye tag. And then you get this little cute little girl that I, I printed this off of Pinterest. Um, and stitched on this and put a little vintage, put a vintage button up here. And this is also tea dyed. <clears throat> and then there's a little puppy dog with a vintage flash card. And this is a little elephant cluster. And then the little bunny. Okay, so you get all those tags and tuck spots and envelopes. And then the little <clears throat> extra embellishments on this. I'm almost out of time. And this little bag. You get about 10 little punched um, manila flower folder butterflies. You get a butterfly paper clip. Which is my favorite one. I've been hoarding that one. <laughs> And then you get buttons, some of my handmade buttons. And they're double-sided, so you have two choices on the buttons. A heart, one of my handmade paper hearts you can use as a charm. One of my handmade paper butterflies. And a key and a clip, and there's about, I think there's like 10 or 11 vintage buttons in here, so you can see all this. Some bold pens, some paper clips. And all this little bag, this little bag, and another little heart charm. So you get this little extra bag of little goodies. There. <clears throat> so that's the little girl kit. And there's pictures um, that you can see in more detail on um, in my shop on Etsy. But anyway, thank you guys for taking a look. And um, I hope you like it. Please leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're not. And thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.